What do two shady investors, former President Ulysses S. Grant, the Army, the Navy, football, Thanksgiving, and retail economics all have in common? They're all part of the history of the expression Black Friday. Watch to the end to see how it all fits together. Black Friday. It's known around the world in tons of different countries as the biggest shopping day of the year. But where did the name Black Friday actually come from? This expression has a surprisingly long history, and it doesn't have as straightforward of a meaning as you might think. The first use of the phrase Black Friday was actually in 1869. There were two kind of scoundrel, fraudster, investor types that were a little bit on the shady side. Their plan was to try to drive up the price of gold by buying up a bunch of gold that was available in the market. They did this for a couple of months and they were able to increase the price significantly. However, the US president at the time, Ulysses S. Grant, caught on to their plan and initiated a government sell-off of a bunch of gold, thus causing the price to decrease very, very quickly. As a result, the price of gold plummeted and the rest of the stock market also responded in the same fashion. This resulted in a massive, massive loss on Friday, September 24th, 1869, which would thereafter to be known as Black Friday. So while this was the earliest use of Black Friday and is also the Black Friday that's referenced in the Steely Dan song, if you know that famous song, this is not actually how the Black Friday that we know and use today came to be. The Black Friday that most of us know today, that refers to shopping and deals and bargains and so on, came about actually about 100 years after the stock market crash Black Friday. This originated with police officers in the Philadelphia area in the 1960s or so. At that time, every year, on the Saturday after Thanksgiving, there would be a massive football match between the Army and the Navy. So families would gather on Thanksgiving to celebrate Thanksgiving with a meal together and then come into the city the following day, Friday, to watch the match on Saturday. As a result, the police had to deal with massive, massive crowds, huge amounts of tourists, and it was a very stressful time for them. They had to work longer hours, they had to deal with unruly people, and so on. Due to this negativity, the police there nicknamed the day Black. Friday. Retailers, on the other hand, saw this influx of people as a massive opportunity. They wanted to try to drive consumers to their businesses to increase the amount of sales they could get during this key period of time each year. However, they were very reluctant to call this Black Friday, even though the cops referred to it as such, because expressions like Black Friday or Black Monday or Black Tuesday often refer to very unpleasant events like the stock market crash we talked about earlier. Although they tried to market it in different ways, according to the New York Times, as Big Friday in one example, this never really caught on, and instead they went with Black Friday, choosing to reframe Black Friday in a more positive way. They took inspiration from old handwritten accounting sheets. In these sheets, if you wrote something in the red, it meant you were negative, meaning you lost money. If, however, you wrote something in black, it meant you were positive, you had gained money, gained profits. So retailers thought, let's brand this as Black Friday and say that it's because it's the day that we get the most profits. As a result, Black Friday as we now understand it was born. There you have it, the long and varied history of the expression Black Friday. I hope you enjoyed watching this quick video as much as I enjoyed researching it. Very interesting topic, right? Of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more etymology lessons like this one and quick English vocabulary, writing, punctuation tips, and more. Happy shopping!